I'm going to show you how to create an offline media ISO of a working MDT deployment share. So to start, I'm going to go to our deployment share, expand advanced configuration, go to selection profiles, and then create a new selection profile. For this, we will call it offline media win 11, as that's what we're going to install. And we can give it a comments offline media for installing Windows 11. And then here we can select everything that required to install the Windows 11 that we want. So we can select any required applications. Under operating systems, we can select our Windows 11 Pro operating system. And then we can select any drivers, any packages, and any task sequences. And then press next, and then next. The reason you'll want to create a selection profile is because if you don't include just the things you want, when you create your offline media, it will include everything within your deployment share. So depending on how many operating systems, drivers, applications you've got, it could end up being hundreds of gigabytes in size. So this way it just narrows it down to what we actually want. Now we've got our selection profile, we can go to media, go to new media, and actually start creating the ISO. So here we'll need to select, set a media path for where we want to store our new ISO. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new folder and call this offline media win 11. Copy the path, and paste it in. And then under selection profile, we can select our offline media win 11 selection profile that we've just created and then press next and then next to create the media profile. Now we've got our media profile, we can press finish, right click, and then go to properties. We can untick our x86 to make it a bit smaller. And if you want, you can give it a name. I'm just gonna leave it as light touch, but you can call it whatever you want. For the rules, this is just essentially just made us a um, blank rules. So what we can do is if we right click our deployment share and go to properties, we can get both up and then you can just copy whichever ones you want. For this example, I'm just going to copy everything from our existing deployment share and just put it in this new, in this new share because I can't bother going through it all, but you just pick up whatever ones you want and then press apply. So now that our media has got the rules of our standard deployment share, and then you can go to Windows P and just check the settings are correct. I generally just leave these as default, but you can change the scratch space and anything else in here that you want. But I'm just going to leave that and press OK. So now we've actually created it. If we go to our media, we'll notice the content and the folder is blank. So what we need to do is right click the media and do update media content. And what this will do is this will copy all of the files over from our deployment share using the selection profile. It will copy it all to this folder and then it'll start creating us that ISO file. So I'll just wait for this to um, finish. Now that that's finished generating our offline media ISO, we can press finish and then go back to our file share. So now we can see we've got the content and our light touch media ISO. So now if we go to content, it's got various bits that it's generated. But the only thing we need is this light touch media ISO file. So all you need to do is either mount that to a virtual machine or burn it to a USB drive using um, whatever you want, Rufus, whatever your favorite media ISO tool is. And then what I'll do is I'll just boot up a virtual machine with it connected. So press start. So this is going to use that light touch media ISO file that we've just generated. And then we'll boot into that and see what it looks like. So what I've done is I've just disabled the network card on my virtual machine, just so this is running purely from this ISO file. So we can just go through the process. We can select the task sequence. We can give it a name, add it to the domain, 
as I've disabled the network, I'll just join it to a work group. But if it, the machine is on the network, it will join it to the domain. I will select the application and then press begin. And there we go, deployment success. We can just press finish and then check. Yeah, 7-zip installed just fine. And that's how you create an offline media ISO of an MDT deployment share and then deploy an image with just a USB drive.